Hello everybody. As you know that we can debug a server side application by placing breakpoints in your Visual Studio right here. But when we are working with a client side project and in your web assemblies, we cannot debug the projects like this way by placing breakpoints here. So for that we need a client side debugging and how can we achieve that? Let me show you. I'm pressing Ctrl F5 to run my project. Meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Okay, now here at the counter, uh, I have a button and I have placed some more code than the default template code. Let me show you the code that's given here. And I have added two more lines just to increase the number of lines here. And when I'm clicking this button, it's functioning. Okay, the shortcut for uh, debugger is alt shift and d okay when i'm pressing alt shift d here i have give i'm given a url to copy and paste inside when by pressing window r key now when i'll press window r key i'll get this thing here and i'll get a new chrome instance so here i'll press once again Control shift d and i'll get a different kind of window okay one more thing that i want to tell you over here that if i'm going to right click and inspect element over here i cannot see the client side code I'm, I'm just getting the rendered html but not the actual code that i want to debug but here when i click here okay now it's increasing i need to place the breakpoints inside my counter so uh, this is complete project and if I expand this section files my project my client all my pages are here my program.cs file the same C sharp code that we are we have written here inside program cs okay now let's come ahead and inside projects we have counter and we have these three lines I want to place a breakpoint at this point I want to see that what the value of current count is at the time of execution okay now i have placed a breakpoint over here and i'm going to click click me button as i clicked the debugger has started okay now i come here inside here you can see the current value of current count this variable is six now we can step ahead or you can press f9 okay the next value is eight okay what was the initial value six what happened two added became eight now one is subtracting okay let's step ahead but the thing is we can see each and every the value at each and every step and when we step ahead the next line on which the execution is on now it's highlighted okay to resume the execution we'll just press this better okay now the value is uh, the execution has resumed now if i want to again click this button again the debugger will start or if i just want to pass on i will just click this resume button okay or if i want to go to debugger i can go into this window back and i just i can again look into these steps step by step whatever i want to analyze so that was a simple uh, procedure let me tell you once again that what you need to do you cannot debug your project in the main window which opens after the execution or you cannot debug a client side web assembly project by just going into inspect element but you need to press alt shift t alt shift t a new window will appear and you need to just copy this line or if you are using microsoft edge you need to copy this line but because i'm using chrome right now you need to copy this line inside window r the run command and press ok and a new window will appear where you can debug to debug once again you need to press alt shift t so this was the video all about thank you very much